Let's continue with our algebra. The first question that I want us to look at is x squared is equal to 5x minus 4. The question will, of course, be saying solve for x. This is x to the power 2. How many solutions do I expect? Two. Did I get two solutions? Yes, one, two. So this is how you go about uh, 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 factorizing. This is done in grade 9, but it comes out in grade 12. So these are guaranteed marks. So make sure that in Fundeca you get these maximum marks. What, what makes this difficult? It is just this fraction that is over there. If we can deal with this x, then we'll be able to move forward. What do we do after this? You don't have to jump into quadratic formula. We are being tested here. Can you factorize? Not quadratic formula yet. I discourage learners from rushing into quadratic formula because you'll be missing the factorization skill. Of course, if you don't find factors, then you can go and, uh, and, and actually use a quadratic formula. If I multiply these two, I must get minus 3x. So it means one of them must be negative. Since 3 is positive, then 1 must be negative. That's the first one. Let's look at the next one. So if I multiply this and that, these two, I must get what? I must get minus x. So how do I get that one? This one is already positive, so this one must be negative. At the same time, negative 1 times negative 1 must give me the third term in this particular case, which is positive 1. So it can be 3x minus 1, which is 0, or it can be x minus 1, which is 0. I'll be left with x equals to 1 out of 3, or x is equals to 1. Yes, I've got two solutions because my x it is to the power 2. Thank you.